What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Cuddy. We back at it again with another S3 video, man. And today, we're finally, finally, finally gonna put the intercooler on the S3 today. I've been putting this one off because it's just, it takes so much time and it's really not hard. It's just so many little steps and I've just been pushing it off. I've had the intercooler for like three months now, but I figure, you know what? I've been waiting too long. I just gotta throw this thing on. And especially because it's the last piece that we need to go full bolt on. So I'm like, bro, I gotta get this thing on the car. Um, so we're gonna get this on today. I gotta take the whole front end off, basically unplug a million things, take off the headlights, and just basically strip down the entire car um, so we can get this intercooler put in. But it's the last thing we need to finally kind of complete the build power-wise for now. Um, so I figured I'll just get it over with and throw this thing on. So I'm gonna get this in the center of the driveway. We're gonna get it jacked up so we can work on it a little easier. And then we're gonna go through the process of actually putting this intercooler on, man. I won't be doing like a full like step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do this. Um, I'm just gonna be kind of doing showing you guys parts of the process because um, there's so many videos on this already so I don't really feel like I need to make another tutorial. Um, that it's pretty much covering everything I'm gonna cover already. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start doing it, show you guys kind of where I got stuck maybe, how um, many issues I may have had and then um, we'll just kind of show you guys how it goes on and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started, jack this thing up and then uh, start taking things apart man and see how long this one takes us. We ended up going with the Unitronic intercooler. I ended up going with this one because I got it on Black Friday for like a crazy sale. Um, and I was thinking about going IE, but the price was just kind of steep, I'm not going to lie. And everyone said the Unitronic one does a really great job of cooling as well. So I figured I'd get a good deal on this one. It was super cheap. And honestly, the quality is really nice. And everyone says that it's a direct fit, so I don't have to do any trimming to fit it in there. So it's kind of a no-brainer for me because um, I get to save some money and put some money into the car somewhere else. So All right, y'all. So we got the front bumper off now. It was pretty easy. I've done it before when he did the grill, so it wasn't really anything crazy. Um, I spilled a little bit of wiper fluid, but you know, it is what it is. I'll just fill it up again. Um, so I'm going to start to deconstruct this. Um, it shouldn't be too hard. It's really just paying attention to what you're taking off. Um, so it's a lot of things, but it's nothing crazy. It's nothing hard to do. It's just really paying attention to what you're doing. So I'm going to start deconstructing this, taking off the headlights and everything, and then basically we'll get started and putting in the new one. I and mean, then we're going to be cooling a lot better, man. I'm really excited for that because I can feel the heat soak when I'm driving sometimes uh, when we're pushing the car a little harder. Um, so it's going to just negate that whole thing and we're just going to be cooled way better and it's going to push the car a lot harder um, and we'll be able to run it a lot longer too. So I just wanted to mention, I always see people on like Reddit or Facebook, whatever, any of the groups asking like, do I actually need the intercooler when I'm going stage two? And honestly, I would highly recommend it just because um, at the end of the day, you're pushing more power to the car and it's going to start to get hotter. Um, so for me when I'm dri daily driving it I have no problem but when I'm actually pushing the car like consecutively like hard pulls I mean you can definitely feel the heat soak coming in and slowing down the car so if you're debating it I would say just get it it's a little bit of extra money you got to dish out but it's super worth it in my opinion um, just so that you don't have to worry about heat soaking and you can push the car as long as you want um, so at the end of the day get the intercooler it's worth it um, it's not a waste of money just buy it man just buy it all right guys so we got everything off now I'm going to be throwing in the new intercooler. You can see the difference. Um, this is a stock one. It's super small. Like It's actually crazy that they put this in the car. And we have the versus the Unitronic. You can see it's a lot thicker. Obviously, it's a lot heavier too, but um, it's worth it for the cooling. So, got everything off now. We're going to go ahead and slap it back in. It wasn't too hard. It was just these clips were actually insane to take off. Um, it's like that for everyone that does the install. Um, it's these ones right here. It just took a lot more work than we thought, um, but we got it off, it, just a little trial and error. We didn't break them, thankfully. Um, so now that we got all this out, we're just gonna put everything back in and we'll be good to go. All right, y'all, so we got everything in now. As you can see, we got the Unitronic back there. I'm not gonna lie, this is definitely the hardest thing I've done in the car so far. Um, it was a pain, it took us a while. Um, you definitely need two people for this part. I waited for my dad to come back so he could give me a hand with it. Um, I shouldn't film it that much because we were locked in. Um, we just weren't really focused on that. So it took a while, but we got it. It fit pretty good. Unitronic was a direct fit like they say it was. Um, so honestly, no bad reviews. Um, once we'll get it on the car and actually drive with it, we'll see. But honestly, no complaints. It came out perfect. I didn't have to like trim anything for it to fit. So can't complain. Now we're going to put everything back together, which is another long process. And then we'll be all done for the day, man. As you guys can see, the intercooler almost beat me today. But I got it right before the sun started to go down, finished everything. This one was tough. I'm not going to lie. This is definitely the hardest thing I've done on the car and probably will be the hardest. And it's not necessarily hard. It's just really time consuming. Um, so it's over now. Thank God we don't have to do this ever again. 
Um, so we'll pick this video back up tomorrow morning um, when we have the sunlight and we'll talk about the intercooler. What's up y'all, we back, we back, we back. It's been a few days since the last clip. Um, it's been kind of bad weather out here where I live. So as you guys can see, it's raining right now. Um, but I still wanted to film this part, let you guys know that everything went smooth. Intercooler install really wasn't that hard, um, just very time consuming. Really attention to detail is the main like aspect of the whole thing, just remembering where everything went. Um, so everything's done with that, it was really good, everything fits, holding boost, everything's good, no leaks or anything. Um, so that went good. There's not really much for me to film on this install just because it's like, yeah I put this in and there's performance gain to it. Um, but I'm not going to like feel it when I'm driving the car, you know, it's really just to help cool the engine down, get some cold air into the engine itself, so it's not really much for me to film on this one, but at least you guys know, you know, the intercooler is in, we're officially full bolts on now, we got um, downpipe, intake, tune, and intercooler, so we got everything we can do on stock turbo other than fueling, which is something I'm kind of 50-50 about, I don't know if I want to go the full E85 route, but it's definitely something that's in the works, potentially, I'm not too sure yet, um, but let me know what you guys think. Should we throw some E in here? I feel like it could be cool. Add some power just by some gas, you know, so let me know what you guys think. That's potentially on the list, but I'm not 100% sure yet. All right, y'all, so that's the end of today's video, but I did want to like kind of at the end of this one, talk to you guys about the car and kind of what I have planned for the car. Cause you know, at the end of the day, you guys watch the content. I want you guys to know what's coming and kind of what's going on in my head about the car itself. Um, so right now, like I said in the last clip, we're kind of maxed out on what we can do on the stock turbo other than upgrading the fueling. And that's something I may do down the line. I'm not too sure quite yet, but it's something that's, you know, in the back of my head, I'm thinking about it. Um, but as of right now, we're now full bolts on. So what I really wanted to do with the car now that we got it kind of maxed out on the stock turbo is I wanted to take it out on the streets, kind of show you guys what it can do. Because me personally, when I was looking for this car, I didn't see any content like that. And when I'm searching for a car, that's something I definitely definitely look for. So that's something I want to be able to provide and put out for people that may want to pick up an S3 and see what I can actually do on the streets. Um, but other than that, like my next plan for the car is definitely adding more carbon to the car, uh, carbon fenders and a carbon hood. Um, but the thing with that, those are some pretty pricey parts, um, cost more than basically everything I purchased for the car, like individually. So not total, cause I'm gonna make a video on that, how much we spent on the car in total, but just the carbon parts itself are like the price of like three or four parts that we put on this. So that's definitely something a little pricier. So I'm going to be stacking and saving some bread up for those. Um, so the car content right now is going to be a little bit of just the build that we have right now, the current setup. Um, eventually I want to get some new wheels, um, some coilovers, try some new things, but as of right now, we're going to kind of just stay where we're at right now, um, push out some content of like actually going to Mexico and showing you guys what it can do because that's what I'm really excited about and mostly what I built the car for so we can try that out and see how we hang with like all the other cars on the road. So for now, we're going to stay where we're at. I hope you guys are enjoying everything that I'm putting out for you guys. I really enjoy doing it. Um, I want to get those carbon parts, so I'm going to be stacking some bread, just kind of waiting until I can get a good price on them, or maybe someone pops up on Facebook Marketplace, you never know. Um, that would be clutch too, so I can get those a little bit sooner. Um, but I just kind of want to give you guys a little bit of a roadmap. I know I did that in the last video, but now that we have the intercooler in, we kind of have a good idea of where we're going with the car and what's next. Um, so carbon parts are on the way, but for right now, we're going to kind of stick with what we got, um, push out the content, hit the streets, show you guys what we could do. I'm really excited for it, man. I hope you guys are enjoying. If you guys do, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Any little interaction helps the channel grow, man. I really appreciate that from the bottom of my heart to you guys. Um, but that's basically it, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll catch you on the next one, man. Peace.